I left the bucket outside to collect rainwater, hoping that midge flies would find it and lay their larvae inside. And after a few weeks, I actually noticed that they did lay their larvae here. And honestly, I was surprised to see that there was no mosquitoes in the water either. These midge flies larvae are these little red wiggling worms that you see here that are kind of just at the bottom but can swim throughout the water column as well. They look a lot like mosquito larvae, but they aren't. These are non-biting midges, so they are perfect for mini bieta. Their larvae live in water and feed on decaying matter, and when they hatch into adults, they carry the nutrients that they've eaten from the lake onto land. And by stirring the sediment a little bit, I can see that there are plenty of them here. And there's even smaller ones here on the side of the bucket wall. I collected a larva with a syringe, that way we can see it up close. And so I added it here to this test tube, and now we can take a closer look. But the hope here is that these midge fly larvas are going to transition into adults and hopefully mate and be able to successfully have further generations down the line. And because these midge flies don't eat and they're very small, they're the perfect candidate for mini bieta because they can reproduce without the constraint of food and they can fly throughout the biomes with ease. Hopefully a sustainable population does establish itself here, which would then allow them to transform the food web.